probably put Klobuchar in the, in the category of a gamer. You know, I, I look at these debates as more of like drill work. Uh, and some people shine in those situations and then, you know, they don't do so well in the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that there's, it's going to be interesting. You know, I think that, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, the little closer it gets and it gets a little more, you know, like the stakes get a little higher, you know, the mud starts slinging and all of that. I just don't look forward to any of that. Absolutely. Uh, so the World Cup, we're, you know, full disclosure, we were talking before the World Cup is, has wrapped up. Uh, but, you know, at the point at which we were talking, the ratings have been really good. They're on the rise, and they've been good in the United States. They've also been massive in Brazil. They've been massive in other countries. Certainly, they're doing well in, in France. You know, I mean, it's a common theme on this show, but it, it just feels like more and more people are catching on. I know for myself, uh, you know, I love baseball. I love football. But when I watch soccer, I actually, and I, I, don't, I can't figure it out. I, is it, I like women's soccer more than men's soccer because the women's national team has been so good? Or is it the style of play? I'm not even sure myself, but I know that I'm much more eager to tune, to tune in to watch the women play than the men's national team. Yeah, I don't know. I, th- I think it's probably, you know, they're still, you know, the 99ers, like when they kind of started their dynasty, you yeah. know, the dynasty is still alive uh, kind of thing. And so that high expectations, whereas I think, you know, women, you know, the U.S. women's national team on the world stage uh, is the best, right? I don't know that that's true on the men's side. It's and so I think, not. yeah, so watching, you know, watching a team that's been so successful, and I think that's that's probably the appeal on the women's side. And you know, there's, I think there's an element to, to watching sports too. I think it's the reason fans get so upset at times. It's like, I think one of the reasons we watch sports is we want to see how a group of people can interact and find a way to be successful. Absolutely. And it's so rewarding when you see it, and it's so frustrating when you care about a team that doesn't Yes, happen. I think you hit the nail on the head with that. Uh, any thoughts on how the new TV deals are going with the WNBA this season? You know, I just, uh, once we start the season and, you know, we're, we're traveling yeah. and scouting I'm and sure all that. I'm sure you're not sitting around yeah. watching TV. I, I see things every once in a while, um, you know, just ratings. I think, you know, that I think it's gone well. I think people, they've gotten... Uh, more adjusted to the idea, you know, to have games on CBS Sports Network, and now there's a blackout on League Pass. I think that part's been a little bit challenging. Uh, if you don't have CBS Sports Network, like it's been difficult sometimes for us on the road when you know we only have a couple choices, um, you know, just kind of finding it. You know, so I think we're all getting used to that part of it. Uh, but certainly, the the greater coverage is is absolutely going to be good for the product. And uh, I suspect when we get to the end of this and they, we get all the metrics in, it's, it's probably going to be one that we're all happy with. So thanks to our sponsors. Thanks to everyone who listens to this show and the rest of the shows on TalkNorth.com. And we'll be back next week with another show. Bye, bye, bye.